What is happening, bowlers? Chris Beans here with Bowlers Rant, bringing you some recent updates on the USBC approved ball list. That's right, we're gonna talk about some recent December editions that have been added to the SBC approved ball list, uh, and they are very exciting. Let's start front and center with the Hammer Violet Fugitive. This is gonna be interesting. So this one hit the uh, USBC ball list this week. Um, I'm gonna guess this is one of two things. The original Fugitive was a Pearl, uh, then they had the Fugitive Solid. So this is either going to be the hybrid or I would guess also, and this is a distant second, uh, an asymmetric version of the Fugitive, hence the name Violent Fugitive. My money is on some form of uh, juiced hybrid cover and the rest of the specs should be the same. We shall see when Hammer makes their next uh, announcement. Okay, next up, let's talk about the Storm Bite SE. Now this one is uh, an overseas ball. Uh, we've seen various versions of the Bite. They, they use, now I don't know that this core is confirmed, but the recent um, Bite editions that we've seen on uh, High Sports in Japan have shown they have this G2 cover. So I'm throwing this out there as a guess, but it is not confirmed. But this is the ball graphic that was uh, on the USBC approved ball list. Uh, we've seen spec covers, we've seen NRG covers. My money's gonna be on some form of uh, NEX or R2S variant cover that's gonna go on this ball since it does look shiny and it's probably gonna have a lot of boom in the back. One thing to note about the G2 core, it does have an 028 intermediate differential, so it is very, very boomy. Okay, and last but not least, the uh, Honey Badger Trial from 900 Global. Now, I really, really like this graphic. It almost looks like if you were to take the code black and the Honey Badger and put them together, this is what you would get. So I am guessing that this is an asymmetric pearl uh, that's gonna be very long and strong. I really hope it's a two-piece ball, but I won't be disappointed if it's a three-piece ball and if they've got like that, you know, Honey Badger Revival core, but I really like this design and I can't wait to hear more about that from when 900 Global uh, introduces that in their next announcement. All three of these balls are probably gonna release in 2021 at some point. And I've got some links in the description where you can follow developments for these balls on bowlersmart.com. A lot of great information there. So what do you think of these recent additions? If you could get one, which one would you dream about? And if so, what layout would you go with? Drop me a comment, let me know. Let's continue the conversation. More updates are coming. And until then, have a happy new year.